Hello. Greetings from Georgia. We are six weeks out from my surgery and I am doing very, very well. The doctors have all been amazed at how well I've recovered and how quickly I have recovered. Most of that is due to all of your prayers for me and I just want to thank you so much. I was encouraged to do this next video. So here it goes. I don't know how Tyler does this, but I'm going to do my best. And I want to just read a letter to you because I want to share my heart and my mind where it's been these last six weeks. Dear family, friends, brothers, and sisters in Christ, you have blessed me in so many ways during this journey. I have been given some form of gift each day. Cards, gifts, visits, phone calls, emails, and texts. God has shown his faithfulness to me. He knows what we need when his timing is always perfect in every situation you find yourself in. One young lady has sent me notes weekly and shared scripture that the Lord has placed on her heart. The last one I'm going to share with you, as this is where my heart and mind has been. On the cover came a quote from Amazing Grace. The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Also in her handwritten card, <laughs> she shares scripture with me. And this week's scripture was the one I've really been um, spending a lot of time in. And I will read that too. 2 Corinthians 6, 4-10 through 10. But in everything, commending ourselves as servants of God, in much endurance, in afflictions, in distress, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing yet possessing all things. Secondly, 2 Corinthians 4, 6-18 through 18. Therefore, we do not lose heart, but though our outer man is decaying, yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. For momentary, light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory, far beyond all comparison, until and while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. In closing, I want to share a song that was sung at our church last Sunday. And as I am preparing to begin my chemo treatments this Friday, it just gave me much hope. And that's the name of the song, There is a Hope. So here are just a few verses of that that really touched my heart and gave me uh, I guess you could say encouragement. <laughs> there is a hope that gives me strength for every passing day. It drives all doubt away. When the world, cancer, has plunged me in its deepest pit, I find the Savior there. Through present sufferings, futures fear. He whispers courage in my ear. For I am safe in everlasting arms, and they shall lead me home. Love you, Jenny. Um, from here, like I said, I'll be starting my first chemo treatment on this Friday, December 9th. And I am feeling strong. I've been exercising, and I've been continuing to try to eat healthy. And I want to just encourage you. Uh, to keep praying for me as there has been many times where I couldn't pray but I knew that you were and I've just have felt lifted up and I know Tyler and Sarah and Rachel have also been very encouraged by all of you and your prayers and your phone calls I just want to thank you again 
for just blessing me and this family during this journey. I want to say Merry Christmas because I don't know if I'm going to get Christmas cards written to all of you. So again, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Tyler gets to do the next video. Bye!